Welcome everybody to the official Uniboro YouTube channel. My name is Ryan and today I'll be showing you how to create a simple report in Salesforce. To get started you'll want to click on the reports tab and once you're here you'll click on new report. It is here you select the report type. For the purpose of this video I'm just going to select a simple or we're only doing a simple report. I'm going to select a report type with just one object but you can select whichever report type, standard or custom report type you'd like. Uh, I'm going to select just accounts. Now the first thing you'll typically want to do when creating a report is to select the filters. To do so you'll click on the filters button here on the left hand side and you'll see the filters for this particular report type is defaulting to show only my accounts and a created date of February 4th or later. Depending on the report type you select, uh, different preset filters will be displayed. But you'll typically want to adjust them as the first thing you do when creating a report. Uh, so for this report, I'm going to want to see all accounts. So I'm going to click on all accounts. And make sure you click apply, because if you don't click apply, it won't save the changes you make to the filter. I'm also going to want to see all accounts. So to do so, I'm going to change the created date to, to all time. Um, range all time and click apply. I'm also going to want to select uh, additional filter. And so for this filter, I'm going to want to select um, account record type. And I'm going to only want to see household account and click apply. So these are the three filters I'm going to use and the next th step you want to do is to select which fields you'd like to display and if you'd like to group them or not. So to do so click on outline and here's the columns displayed over here. Um, the columns appear in the same order in which they appear here so if you want to reorder stuff you uh, just drag and move them. Um, First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the columns that we don't want on the report. So I'm going to remove last activity. And just to remove them, just click on an X and that will remove them. I'm going to remove last modified date. And I'm going to remove rating. We also don't need type because since we only selected one record type, um, they're all going to be the same. So let's remove type. Now to add a field, there are several ways you can do it. You can click here and scroll. Uh, you can also search. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a field. Let's have, let's put their phone number there. And just once you search and click, you'll see their phone numbers appearing. It's important to note that the display here, this is only a limited, and as you can see with the warning here, it's only a limited number of records being shown. If you want to see all the records, you'll have to run the report. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, we're also going to add one more field. And I'm going to show you another way you can do it. You can click on fields over here. And here will open all the list of available fields that you can be added to the report. Um, so for this, uh, we're going to add um, mail, uh, mail, billing address line one, billing street. Let's add billing street. You can drag and drop, or you can also double click it, and it will add it to the first one here. Since we don't want it to be the first one that appears, we're going to reorder them. So we're going to move, um, we're going to move account name to the top, and you can see that once we do that, account name is showing first. We also don't need this anymore, so let's just hide this. We also have the option to group uh, group records in the report. And to do that, you'll want to select a field to group them by. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can search and scroll. Um, also, if you notice that one of the columns you like to group it by, uh, you can just drag and drop. So in this case, we're going to group them by um, account owner. We're going to see who created which records. So we're just going to click on account owner, and we're going to drag it up here. So here's how the display works. You can see the different account owners 
and you can see the records they're grouped by. You can also toggle the options on the bottom here. So if you don't want to see subtotals, we can just remove subtotals. Um, if you don't want to see uh, detail rows, which in this case we do, we can remove it, and this will just show you how many records each owner uh, will have created. But we want to, in this case, we want to see everything, so we're just going to click on detail rows. So here's our report. We're happy. We're satisfied. In this case, it shows us all the different records that have been created all time grouped by account owner, so who created them, and then just some key fields like Billing Street, Province, and phone number with the account name. So once we have our report, we're going to want to run the report, and to do so, click on Run. This will show us all the results um, based on the filters that we selected. So in this case, it shows you 218 total records. You can see different account owners on the left-hand side. This is where the column was grouped by. Um, in this case, you can see Fetty created two accounts. Julia created some. Mitchell. Um, and you also see the available information here with the fields. Uh, when you're satisfied with the report and the information that's showing, you make sure to save your report. And to do so, um, click on the drop-down menu here and click Save. You want to give the report a name. So let's call this All Accounts. It's also good practice to create a description, just so whoever's use, uh, using the report uh, understands the information that's being shown. So let's just briefly describe. This is All Accounts. Owner. Next thing you'll want to do is select a folder. Um, in this case, since it's public information, we want all the users to see it. So we're going to select public reports as the folder and save. So now the report is saved. It's in a public folder and any user with access uh, can view the report. Um, but you also may want find yourself needing to export the report to use the data for other purposes. And you can certainly do that in Salesforce. To export the report, click on the drop-down menu again and click on Export. You can click on Formatted or Details. Formatted will maintain the structure of the report visible in Salesforce. If you're only concerned with details and just simple record information, you'll want to click on Details Only. In this case, we want to click keep the format of the report because we do want to see how they are grouped. So we're going to click on formatted report and we're going to click export. And let's just open the report. So here you'll see the report that we exported looks nearly identical to what was shown in Salesforce. It shows you the filters here too, so you can understand um, how the data was selected, and it also shows you the grouped and the fields. So that's how you create a simple report in Salesforce. See you on the next video.